The military kidnapped me, they tortured me, I spent two years and a half in a concentration, different concentration camps, uh, because the, the state became a terrorist state. in the concentration camp. I think we have a, a promise for ourselves. We try to, to denounce what happened during, the, during this period. We try to tell these stories and, and we try to find justice. You know? and not only to explain what happened uh, exactly with each person. We need to understand why why it happened a coup? Why they 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 make a war against their own people? Yes, because they make a war against their own people. The Argentine army became a war against the Argentine people, and we are innocent people. We are civil people. We are common people. Probably one reason is because they made the training in the School of America. But I think the, well, the other reason is a terrible reason because uh, probably is because they try to change the model, the social, economic and, pol and political model to our system, our democracy system before they are the coup, before uh, 1976 in Argentina. If you, if you have a look about the low salary and if you compare with the high salary, the, the distance is 1 to 10. When the dictatorship period finished, the distance is 1 to 37. A lot of people became more poor. The middle class, in fact, broke, collapsed and a few groups became more rich. But you can make this if you don't have uh, a people who can to, to organize the resistance. And this is the reason because they uh, kill, they make a genocide and they kill a lot of people, but special one generation, one young generation um, leaders generation probably uh, we stayed in the high schools we stayed in uh, trade unions uh, leaders workers leaders students leaders and these kind of people they kidnap they take away this generation because they think this generation can to to make the or to to organize the opposition Yo trabajaba en Guatemala con un movimiento social. I am from Guatemala and I work in a movement with uh, students and workers. And I was captured by the first time in 1969. I was kidnapped by a very violent way. My friend was first, was taken first. He was completely destroyed when he came back. We both were blindfolded. We were forced into particular cars. And we were taken to a clandestine cell. We were tortured very cruelly, like the same way that we have seen in Abu Ghraib. Questiones electricas. Yeah, uh, electroshocks. El uh, agua. Uh, we, we, were, we were asphyxiated in water. Uh -huh. eh, Problema de violación sexual. Uh, sexual violation, rape, sexual raping. 
And unfortunately, I was tortured through representatives of the U.S. government. It's not the first time. In Latin America, the United States Army has been absolutely always implicated in torture. We went to let the government, no, government know that they never ever um, broke us. But there, are, there is something very important that I want to tell to the USA people. Uh, no matter what damage the United States, the government of the United States has done, we do appreciate the poor people of the United States. I do have children disappeared in 1984. But their voices, the voices of my children, come with my life, and then I am speaking for them. We are here for those who never will speak by themselves. I want to tell the uh, youth in the United States they need a future, not war. continue because I need to to find justice this is this is the point I need to find justice I think I have a very long I don't know the I uh, how can I say patience yeah how can I say patience yeah? patience patience I have patience uh, I can wait weeks, days, weeks, months, years to try to find my objects. For 25 years I tried to find them and they tried to refuse me. <laughs> but finally I found them. And but I found them only to, to put in trial only to to end this story because I need to end this to, 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 to finish this story. I need to listen this the the institutionally voice with the justice. I know they are guilty they are guilty because I, I I know. But it is important for me I am I think well for another people but special for me because when the state became in a, in a terrorist, a state terrorist, uh, I think it's, it's better to finish the other institution, the justice, give me um, a trial and give me a sentence, give me a, a final stop. My connection with these guys is in a tragedy. We live a tragedy together because I am a big team but they are they are perpetrators and this is a tragedy for them because their <laughs> their illness they're crazy they're sadic and this is a tragedy it's my personal tra tragedy is because I am a big team but uh, I can to reconstruction for myself and I don't know if they can to reconstruction for, for themselves. And probably they didn't try. Really, we need to, to find justice for each person. We need to know what happened with, with each person with the 30,000 people who the military kidnapped. It, it is a lot of people. Uh, we need to know when, because in some cases we don't know when they kidnap. We suppose uh, Monday or Tuesday, but we don't know. We need to know exactly which day they kidnap, and where, the, where, in which concentration, in what concentration camp this person live, and when they kill him or her, when they kill them. We need to know well the, who are the the people who have responsibility for this kind of crimes. And we need to make a, a, a trial. In fact, we need to put in trial to the dirty war. Now we need to impeach the, 
the dirty war, really, another war is possible, and and I believe it, and we we can, and and we do it, we do it. <laughs> yeah.